Hello everybody on the internet and YouTube. It is T-Addict here. Welcome back to my channel for a tutorial video on The Sims 2. Today, or tonight rather, I decided that I wanted to try putting together an Uber hood for The Sims 2. And I found some online tutorials that I thought were really confusing and way harder than they needed to be. So I thought I would go ahead and make a really simple tutorial because I figured out how to do it and it was really a lot easier than I thought it would be um, and show you guys how to put together an uber hood or a mega hood for The Sims 2. So what is an uber hood? An uber hood is basically all of The Sims 2 neighborhoods bundled together into one. So your base neighborhood for example can be Pleasant View and then Strange Town, Veronaville, River Blossom Hills, Desert Dorada Valley, and Belladonna Cove are all added on as suburbs. What that means is that all of the Sims can interact in one big happy neighborhood family. And that you can have some, you know, new relationships and new dynamics going on uh, within your game that you haven't experienced before. That was the main reason I wanted to start an Uberhood, just for my off-camera Sims 2 gameplay. Um, I've been watching Dramatic Sims live streams of an Uberhood recently and it looks really, really fun, so I thought I would give it a go. So to put together an Uberhood, you're going to need a couple of things. Number one, you're going to need the neighborhoods as subhoods. You can easily get that online at Meet Me to the Rivers Sims Tumblr. Okay, this website is going to be your best friend for getting this Uberhood put together. She's got some clean templates of all of the neighborhoods with um, some potentially game breaking glitches fixed. So they're always worth having in your game anyway. And she she's also released all of the neighborhoods as subhoods for you to download and put together. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when putting together your Uberhood is come to Meet Me to the River Sims Tumblr, get her clean Pleasant View templates, re-release fixed dead version, uh, where she has gone through and fixed up Pleasant View and made it all a lot nicer and friendlier. Fixed up some memory issues, uh, she's put Bella Goth back in as a townie, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So you've got a couple of uh, options here for downloading the game or this neighborhood. You can download the main hood version with the default townies. You can download the main hood version without the default townies, apart from Kaylin Langrak and Gordon King. You can also download it as a sub hood. For this one, we want Pleasant View to be our main hood, so we're gonna download either main hood version with townies or main hood version without townies. It's completely up to you whether you want the townies or not. If you do, you just click on this link. It'll redirect you to SIM file share and you can hit download. Once Pleasant View has downloaded, I downloaded the one without townies for my personal Uberhood because I decided I didn't want the townies. You're gonna to need to extract it onto your desktop, first of all. There is a reason for this that I personally think is a good idea. So you'll see that by default, Pleasant View is always N001. I'm gonna show you guys how to rename this so it, you can have both a single version of Pleasant View in your game plus the Uberhood version of Pleasant View in your game. So if we just go ahead and extract that onto the desktop, here it is. This is the base of our Uberhood. This is what we're gonna make into our Uberhood. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a program to rename this to Uber. So first thing we can do is just rename the folder itself and we're gonna call it Uber because that's gonna be the name of our Uberhood. So now to do this easily, what you're gonna want is a program called the Bulk Rename Utility. This is free software, you can download it super easily onto your computer. If you just Google search Bulk Rename Utility, you should be able to download it. When you open it, it's going to look a little overwhelming and confusing, but trust me, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> so it might have things preloaded in there, it probably won't to be honest. Uh, but this is what we're gonna wanna do. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna wanna go to our desktop and find our our Uber folder that we just renamed, extracted and renamed on our desktop. If we go in here, you can see that all of the files within this neighborhood are currently named N001. So here there's a couple of files in the characters, there's a bunch of them, in the lots there's a bunch of them, in storytelling that's all just screenshots, that doesn't matter, and in thumbnails there's one as well. So what you're going to want to do first of all is in the main root directory you're going to want to use this replace function. We're going to want to replace N001 with whoops, Uber. Right, so then if I click and drag over these three files, you'll see that the original name was this, the new name is gonna be this, and we're just gonna hit the rename button. You'll get a warning. Yep, we wanna proceed, fantastic. 
Step one done. Next, we go into our characters file and we select all of these and you can see they're all going to be renamed with the acronym Uber. Hit OK, done. Then we want to go into lots, do the same thing, rename, done. Perfect. And then thumbnails, last but not least, rename, done. OK, so now we've got our base for our Uber hood neighborhood here on our desktop. So the second thing we're going to want to do is put that into our neighborhoods folder in my documents. So in, on your computer, in your my documents, you should have a folder for EA games, the Sims 2 ultimate collection, or just the Sims 2, depending on which version of the game you have. I have the ultimate collection in your neighborhoods folder. You're going to want to go in here. See, you can see I've already got a pleasant view in here. This is my YouTube pleasant view series. So obviously I don't want to get rid of that. I want to leave that in my game. Um, I'm just going to drag that one right into there and there we go it's appeared in there okay we can delete that off the desktop we don't need it now the next thing that you're going to want to do this is where it gets just a little confusing <laughs> first of all you're going to want to head back to meet me to the rivers simpler and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download all of her fixed towns as subhoods so the easiest way to find them all is to actually just do a search on the Simbler by the hashtag clean templates release and that'll give you a list of everything that she has released with that hashtag. But if you're coming in just from the main sort of front page of the Simbler, probably the easiest way to find it is just to go to the hashtag download or the download section. If you search by hashtag download, scroll down a little bit, you should be able to find this most recent release, which was Belladonna Cove. And here there's hashtags, again, that are gonna help you out. You can search by the hashtag clean templates releases, and then you're gonna have them all in a nice list for you to download. And then all you've gotta do is just download each and every one of these. Uh, if you just hit keep reading on this one, you can see the download links and you want to download them as subhoods. So each and every single one will have a link where you can download as subhood and you want to hit all of those and download them onto your computer and save them somewhere in a backup folder on your computer. So I've got a backup folder here on my desktop. I can show you guys called Sims Backups and in here I've got neighborhoods and I've got in here a folder called towns as subhoods where I set, downloaded and saved all of those clean templates as a subhood. So exactly the same process, you're gonna download it in a zip file, you're gonna extract it, it's gonna go in here. Now in these folders, you've got all of the neighborhoods already renamed for you, minus one. For some reason, she didn't actually rename Blue Water Village, that's still B001. So again, using our renamer tool, we can rename this whatever we want to, or you can leave it as is. So then what you're going to want to do is go into your game directory in C drive in your programs <laughs> or wherever you have the game installed. For most people, it's going to be on C drive or D drive or one of your main drives. There's going to be a folder called Origin Games if it, you've installed it through Origin. I'm not sure what it would be if you've installed off the disks. Potentially it would be in Program Files Maxis. I'll double check that and let you know. But if you've installed through Origin, it's going to be in there in the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. And what you're going to want to do is go into your best of business EP3, so this was the uh, open for business expansion pack, TS data resource neighborhood template. If you are using a disk install, it's going to be essentially the same, but instead of going into best of business, you might just go into open for business or expansion pack three and then follow the rest of the file path. And then what we're going to do is put all of the towns as subhood folders into here. I've renamed the Blue Water Village one to BWVL rather than B001. When you first load into this folder, it'll have a B001 already there. You can just leave that there and use that as your subhood. I don't know if she's actually made that many changes to Blue Water Village, or you can just uh, save that one in a backup somewhere and put in her new one. So once you've copy and pasted all of her clean templates into your uh, best of business neighborhood templates folder, they, these are all ready to be installed now as subhoods onto your main Uber hood. That's all you gotta do, it's that simple. Like, thankfully she's gone through and renamed everything for us, so that makes it really nice. So once you've done all that, you're ready to go ahead and load up The Sims 2 and look at our new neighborhood in the game.
Okay, so my game is finally loaded 10 minutes later <laughs> and you can see here I've got a couple of neighborhoods you won't recognize. This Pleasant View right here I know is my YouTube Pleasant View series. I can tell because of all the subhoods that it has added already. And then if we just go across one you can see here there is another copy of Pleasant View with no subhoods or add-ons. This is our new Pleasant View. This is the one we've renamed in its like folder to uberhood so first thing i'm going to do is actually rename the save to uberhood because that's just going to make it a lot less confusing for me and i'm going to load this up the game is going to go ahead load in magic weather pets all sorts of you know interesting things same things it always does when it creates a new town if you have stealth hoods installed then it's not going to add a bunch of extra townies and characters so that's another thing you can do but that's beyond the scope of this particular tutorial so i think magic is the last thing it needs to create and once it is done so we're going to load into a brand new fresh version of pleasant view oh my goodness here we are hello pleasant view wow this looks <laughs> this looks so different to my pleasant view in my youtube series right now this is insane Oh my god, I have edited this town so much. Wow. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, basically, the next thing we're going to do want to do to make this an actual uberhood is add on all of the other neighborhoods, right? So, if we go up here to this button here, click to add a shopping district. We can see a whole list of all of the extra neighborhoods in here just sitting here. I've got an extra one called Downtown Begins. You guys won't have that one, but here they all are as subhoods. So if we just add Belladonna Co first of all, let's go ahead and do that. Wait for the game to load it up as usual. There is a lot of loading when setting up the Uberhood unfortunately and depending on how fast your computer is, it could take you a little while. You can see mine has frozen right here. Let's see how long it stays frozen for. I think that was about 30 seconds, maybe a bit longer. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to load us back onto Pleasant View, but now in my district, shopping district chooser, you can see here is Belladonna Cove. And if I click on that and hit play, I'm going to load into Belladonna Cove, which is amazing. Then we can go ahead and just add the rest of the uh, subhoods as need be. You can go ahead and add Desert Dorada Valley next if you want to, so on and so forth until all of the neighborhoods are there added on as subhoods. And we have basically finished putting together our uberhood how easy was that right so after you've got all of your shopping districts added on to your neighborhood i haven't done all of them yet because i'm lazy there is one final thing that you may want to do to make this into a proper uberhood and that is to add in all of the bin families the bin families are ones that got released with the expansion packs or stuff packs or game packs or whatever i think in the sims 2 we only had expansion packs no kits what the heck are kits, man? Anyway, um, and yeah, so we're gonna wanna put the bin families into the game to uh, make them into proper functioning members of the Uberhood. Okay, so if you've already added on all of the extra neighborhoods, you're gonna have a lot more bin families than I do at the moment. Right now, I've got the oldies and the burbs um, from Pleasant View. I've got the bold ones, the debatos and Jessica Peterson, Timothy Riley, Vivian Cho, Jason Cleveland, Anna Patel. All of these sims belong to Belladonna Cove. So what we could do is come in here to Belladonna Cove and give them all a place to live. We could put the Cho family in an apartment, we could put Jessica Peterson in an apartment, wherever you want to put them in. Um, in the Pleasant View, we could put in the Burbs and the Oldies wherever we want to, give them a home, all that kind of good stuff to give everybody a place to live. And then we'll really have our Uberhood completed and we can get experimenting with different relationships and things going on in the game. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. From what I can tell, we've now got an Uber hood. Um, once you've added the rest of these guys, you'll have all of the different neighborhoods um, added on. I'm going to add on Blue Water Village as well to mine because I love Blue Water Village. I love Malcolm Landgrab. I love the Jacques, the, um, the Tinkers. I love the Ramirez family, they're one of my absolute favorites. Um, and this will be a really, really fun way, I think, for me to go ahead and play through everybody. Uh, you can see now we've also got the Larson and the Geek family. Obviously they belonged to um, 
Blue Water Village, and actually that is a really convenient way of kind of uh, knowing which bin families belong to which town. <laughs> if you just add them steadily, they're gonna appear one by one and you'll know which town to put them in uh, for the sake of the game. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue setting up my personal uberhood just for my own amusement. And I hope that you guys have found this tutorial kind of helpful. Um, yeah, this is actually a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. So I was quite happy about that. And I hope that if you guys choose to play an uberhood, you will find this tutorial helpful as well. If you did find it useful, give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my channel, hit the subscribe button and maybe the notification bell so you know when more content comes out. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.